So I'm here in Sao Paulo to talk about molecular imaging and the techniques that we use in my laboratory to understand the molecular level, neurotransmitter and receptor level circuits that guide affective behavior. And then on the other hand, how we can use that information in this type of molecular brain scans for identifying various psychiatric conditions and disease, and how this technique can be used for drug development and characterization of biologically active molecules that can be used for ailing and curing and helping people who have these kind of symptoms. The technique that my lab uses for unraveling brain function is called positron emission tomography, which is based on radioactive isotopes that are injected in the blood flow, whose decay we measure with the PET camera. So that can be used for generating three-dimensional tomographic images of distribution of basically any biologically active molecule in the brain and the body that we can accurately radio label. This technique is excellent in the sense that we can really tap in the biological and molecular underpinnings of various conditions and states in the brains, which, no, which, which means that it's also widely used for drug identification and drug development in the larger picture. So yes, when we try to understand the affective brain at that level, it helps the people who actually develop these new drugs and molecules for treating these kind of conditions. In addition to brain imaging, we have also investigated our sensation and awareness and how the brain generates the subjective feelings of what happens and how, how does it feel to sense and perceive various things. And we have also tried to identify how the bodily feedback, so-called interceptive system, contributes to feelings of emotions and various other states. And this has led to a quite extensive research program of embodied sensation experience in the body.